we're uh, here to uh, tell our president that we want a contract, we want a fair contract, and we want our sick leave and our benefits that we've been fighting for for years. And stuff. Issues on the table, and if the government's stepping in and trying to impose a contract, we know that we're going to suffer in the workplace. They can't impose it, just kind of deal with our friends in government. So we're out protesting the legislation, and we're going to try and get it stopped, or get it amended so that we don't get concessions shoved down our throat. This is a really important fight, not just for postal workers, but for members of the public and for society as a whole. We simply can't allow the corporate power to overcome us and take away all the rights and benefits. a month in medicine you cut off one of our Somebody workers and you're door smiling door. that's funny yeah. soon this guy cut off benefits for five thousand for a person five thousand a month stay healthy stay healthy that's a good answer yeah stay healthy stay don't healthy. go to this guy then. then i don't have any money coming in to buy good food you just hide in an office and fire people and destroy their lives treat your families like crap and you can't say anything about that Oh, well, I got your attention now. So what would you say about the people of the country who've been unjustly fired? And those people who, who are very sick, require medicines of $5,000 a month, the organization's cut off. I know they'll fire some of them for being sick. How do you feel about that? Do you sleep well at night? I just want to thank all our allies for coming out today and all the postal workers as well. This is a bigger struggle than just the struggle that we're facing. Air Canada is facing similar situations regarding pensions and stuff. And we need to stand strong. We are the vanguard at the beginning of this battle, and we need to stand strong.